All right, folks, it's Monday. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Welcome. If you're new, especially welcome, because you may not know that on this channel, I strive every Monday to give a shout out to the best comment in the previous seven days. And if you remember, last week, I think a week ago exactly, I was talking about discernment and trying to figure out the future of this YouTube channel. Channel, uh, you know, the difference between playlists and channel, new channels. And so, Kofuzi from Chicago, a fellow YouTuber, gave some great insight into this topic. Let me read it. It's kind of long, but it's really good, so pay attention, especially if you are just intrigued by the entire YouTube landscape, where it's been, where it might be going in the future. All right, here it is, in quotes. I had a similar dilemma. I would consider keeping it to one channel, but let one of the two sides become the dominant voice. This will make it easier for new visitors to figure out what your channel is quickly all about. And then in uh, parentheses, he says, which should lead to more people subscribing. Over the past couple of years, I have realized where I fit in the running universe. He's a runner in Chicago. I'm a non-elite runner. This is the lens through which all my stories get told through. The main running season is over and temps are dropping. What does that mean for a non-elite runner? I have a job and kids and a whole bunch of other stuff that happens in my life that's not necessarily running, but so do viewers who run that watch my videos. And they can, parentheses, hopefully relate to it, relate to or at least enjoy my content that is not running. For you, you're a trail runner or however you decide to focus that lens. What does Christmas time look like for a trail runner? Great question, Kobuzi. Or if you go the other way, what does a personal pursuit like Nolan's 14 look like for a dad or a small business owner or a Coloradan with a third child on the way? You can still tell all the stories you want to tell. The lens just changes a little bit. Fascinating. End quotes. Um, I added that fascinating part. Fascinating, fascinating thoughts. Fascinating comment of the week. Thank you, Kobuzi. And um, it helps. I'm not going to dive too deep into it other than to say that that comment of the week helps with my discernment, which I'm not done discerning, figuring out the future of this channel, but just know that I'm still obviously reading your comments every single day, analyzing them, thinking on them, reflecting on them, and uh, that was amazing. So, if you care to, comment below, and who knows, maybe you'll get a shout out for the comment of the week. All right, off to uh, speaking of running. I run for the day. It was an active day at the Demore household. Front yard. Thank you for 60 degree weather in Colorado at 5,280 feet above sea level. Thank you. Oh, in December. Ta-da! The king has arrived! Remember, you guys are feeling a little funky. Just one dessert 